They... Bastards told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Ah. Uh, Mac... Yeah. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah. But he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. If it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real young. A long while. A year or more. Hold up. Let me check this. They carry on along this trail. Back to what you were saying. He did? And we was... family, you know? Guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a camp up ahead. Careful. Easy. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. So where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. There he is. Quick, cut him free. Let's get out of here. Vorsicht, Vorsicht! Das ist eine Pfanne, Vorsicht! Take cover! Three coming right at us! You kicked it! Hell away from here! What? How the hell you drag us into this, Charles? Come on. It looks in some pain there. Here, drüben. Helfen Sie mir. Cut him free. Let's get him back to his family. Sie sind alle weg. I thought you wanted to get this over with, Arthur. It's okay. We're getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. 
Charles. Go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Take you back to your family. Hat meine Familie sie geschickt? Also soll ich mitkommen? Wo bringen sie mich hin? What the hell did you do to those fellas? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. It, how did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Look, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Yep. Gott sei Dank. Schatz! Oh. Andreas! Oh. Andreas! Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot. Beinahe wärst du gewesen. Meine Lieblinge. Meine Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. alles klar. Vamos. Uh. Ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Ja! Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it.
You behaving there, O'Driscoll? I'm not no Driscoll, sir. Sure. <laughs> How are the horses? Okay. Uh, I mean, well, but they could be better. I'm worried. They, they, they've been through a lot. If I had some burdock root, just a couple, uh, I could knock up a poultice, could keep them well, and cure some ailments. Burdock root? Yes, yes, that, 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 that works best. Okay. If I see some, I'll bring it you. Well, thank you, sir. <clears throat>
Well, good morning. Another new market for you, Mr. Strauss. Yes, indeed. And away from Valentine. Not that far away. Hey! Everything okay? You gonna join me here? Yeah! Apart from I Mrs. Adler's constant complaining. Campfire again. Well, <laughs> I think it's in our can't do now. much about that. Well, I suppose I should be getting on. My table awaits your offerings, Mr. Morgan. All right, Pearson. Sure, might as well make some money off it. Good job, Arthur. Thank you, Arthur. You all right? Yeah, I like this spot. It's a shame we never robbed that bank in Valentine, though. Yeah, I guess it is. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right, then. So, what do you think of the place? Seems fine, for now. Yep. Should buy us a bit of time, I hope. Well, I should get back to it. Sure. Good day, Mr. Morgan. You think you can make this place work? Of course. Don't I always? Sure. Okay, speak later. We'll see you later. Well, here we are, Tilly. Moved again. That's the way it goes. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Yes, see you later. You like the new camp, Reverend? Oh, yes. We moved, didn't we? God help us. All right, well, I should be getting on. Arthur? Good morning, Arthur. You must be nervous, being this close to the water. Oh, don't you start. I'm <laughs> just looking out for you. Hey, get up. What's going on? Ah, it's nothing. Quit with the ruckus. I'm tired. Good day, dear. Arthur. So, what do you think of this place? Seems fine for now. I know this area a little. Is there anywhere you ain't been, Jose? Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right, then. Are we going to eat sometime today? How you doing, old friend? Fine. <coughs> It's funny, us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a crick around here. I reckon it's full of fit. Lovely. Nice to hear. 
you doing all right? Hey, old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good along, over, Dutch. <laughs> Always dream crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Hosea. Let's go fishing. Come on, then. Okay with this spot for now, Mr. McGuire? Why don't we just fish here? It's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again. Thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Jose. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, it feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, ho, ho. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of bother. Quiet, right there. Well, well, look who it is. Can't sort this out. <laughs> Let's go. How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train! Don't let them get away! And do not shoot them, you hear me? Come on, hurry! All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. 
What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. Oh, damn it. Looks like the son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. You all are a goddamn joke. Ah. Ah. Idiot. Now get after the others. Come on. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Get to the side of the train. Yeah. Keep us close to the train. Get alongside that flat carriage. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Watch out! He's throwing bottles at us. Uh, you cop bastards! Uh, I didn't do nothing! Uh, uh, arrest me now! That's enough! Uh, Damn it! I think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Bring him out here. Deputy? Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir, I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly Look say out. that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here. Oh, dear, you are green, aren't you? You all right, girl? Like you were saying before, 
On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain round here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Sooner you get him off your horse, sooner we can get him in a cell. Bring him in so we can show Sheriff Grub. Mr. Gray! What the? We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. Now make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Greys, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses, and falling out of rebel gold, and marrying cousins, or not marrying... Arthur, that's... Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Hmm. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these great weights. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Uh... I'll need to relax someplace. Fair enough. 
It looks like it's you and me, old man. Hello, mister. First time? Oh, candy's in the middle there, next to the cute little dollies and what's left of my self-respect. I have a catalog, too, up here. Now, yeah, let's have a look. You own the place. The things the ladies of Rose say to each other when they're browsing these shelves, <laughs> like they forget I exist. <sighs> Always running out of that. Uh, it's all good. All of it. Have you ever seen such a clean and tidy store? I'm such a bored man. No need to bluff. You want one of those little dolls, don't you? Got what I need. Thanks, Mister. Hey there. Howdy.
Mr. Lawman. Mister? How are you? Sorry. Can't put my finger on it. Goodbye. for my mate Gavin. Somebody help me! Gav? Gav? I've lost my friend. Somebody help me, please! Mister? Uh, listen, have you seen... I I'm looking for my friend Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. An English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing, and, uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. That's, uh, that's too bad. Good job. 